let's go. But I'm Gerald, yeah. and I can always have just what I want. Uh, She's the baddest, I would love to flaunt, take her shot, but you know Eve Saint Laurent, but no, no, she ain't with it. So, what's up, my peeps? Matrix Nave here in today's video. I'm gonna show you how to get not one, but possibly two slick top police cars in GTA 5. I wanna give shouts out to maybe he created my intro links below and also want to give a shout out to Caden Griffin Blank commented and asked for a shout out so there it is Caden anybody else leave a comment I'll get to you next video so let's get on with it buckle in we got a lot to cover okay my peeps so obviously when you're in the game you go to game and then I'm gonna load the game uh, however if you don't have the friend request mission uh, all you simply need to do is replay mission pick the friend request replay that one as soon as you drop Amanda off at the house you do a quick save and you'll respawn at this point every time so basically um what you need to do guys is you hop in the car you go in the street now it will take approximately like five to ten minutes for her to call you if she hadn't called you don't by like let's say ten oh, minutes then just don't do it that. but I would say 80% of the time um, she definitely called me 80% of the time right so every ten times I did it she called me eight times <clears throat> and again sometimes I didn't even wait ten minutes if she wouldn't call me in the first five minutes I would just uh, reload the game right so obviously she's gonna call you you accept the uh, the side mission here and when you get to where they're detaining or wherever the fuck it is, Macy's or whatever, you'll see that that is actually a slick, slick top police car, right? However, sometimes you're walking up a scout and the lights will be glitched out, right? So when they're glitched out, you just want to kill yourself ASAP, right? So basically you walk up, you see them glitched or whatever. The easiest way I found to do it is just go ahead and take your shoddy out and put some slugs into the grill. Roger that. That's the easiest way to do it because I'm going to tell you guys these cops are soft in this side mission. They're so soft. Like they want you to get away and you'll see why later. So what you do is basically to get the number you want, you just rinse and repeat the method I just did with the glitch scout car, right? And it'll respawn you right up the street working. there. Now you see this is Scout 32, right? So there's only She's about the seven variations boy. of Scout cars in GTA 5 as far as the numerics, right? But, uh, like, I prefer 76 because in Cobra Task Force, you know, 76 means in route. But, you know, I believe there's 05, 84, 43, 32. There's just like seven or eight variants of them, right? Now, Again, I'm showing you the best method because you can shoot that cop and it just doesn't matter. The quickest way to kill yourself is just put the put the slugs right into the grill, right? And then every time, without doubt, they'll respond to you at this location. Now there's Scout 29, right? And I'm I'm redoing this, my peeps, so that you can see this isn't like a fuck card glitch. Like this is legit. You know what I mean? They're not gonna patch it because they don't give a f what number of Scout card you want. You know what I mean? They don't they don't care. Plus they let us get away with a little, especially if they know it's for police role play because they still haven't given our community really. I mean, directors mode and everything is awesome right and i'm i appreciate that and i appreciate that they're trying to give us more in the police community on consoles right which this is really why you want to save a slick top uh i know in the community a lot of us use it as supervisory vehicles right and what's sweeter than having the same number and having this sweet ass vehicle i mean let's go now as you see i'm i'm redoing it you see the cop just punched me a couple of times it just it takes them forever to kill you right so there was what 43 this is 76 now getting on with the method on how to save one possibly two you know a duplicate basically what you want to do is when you pull up to take care of the situation you know your whole wife's got in uh, basically just steal the car I mean you can kill you can go ahead and kill the cop if you want but I mean, whatever. I mean, they're all lizards. Me, kill them. Whatever the fuck you want. But you're you're gonna get three stars either way. Okay. Now, obviously, if you start fucking with these cops, 
you're gonna get more than that. But these cops are soft, man. It's like a one star, even though it's it displays three stars. It's like one star, man. You just head up north and you'll lose them in less than five minutes. So basically, when you drop a man off at the house here, this is where if you haven't saved it to the spawn location that I had in the beginning of the video, once the mission pass is off the screen, you basically just want to roll down to the stop sign or basically just roll where the mission pass once the mission pass is on the screen get out of my way mofos so once the mission pass is off the screen you just basically do a save and it'll bring you back every time you spawn in to try this method it'll just bring you back to the foyer where i was before now here this is very important uh as far as saving a vehicle right here uh, you want to switch to Franklin. A lot of people seem to have problems with this that I've noticed. But you want to switch to Franklin. And once you get to Franklin, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a location where Michael and Franklin can basically meet up. Now, since we're going south of Las Santos, and um, to save, to actually save the vehicle for police roleplay, uh, I just always pick you know Los Santos customs I don't know why I just do um, so basically you go there right and then you're gonna want to switch back to Michael and once you switch back to Michael he should be in the scout car if not he'll be standing right beside it right so you go ahead you get back in the scout car uh, with Michael and then basically you bring up your map and or if you don't need the map, the waypoint, whatever. I just do it because it's the, the fastest and, you know, most reliable way to get to the point I want to go. So, there we go. You know, no fucking about. We're going to get this, we're going to get this saved and hopefully get a duplicate. So, then you want to, like I said, just roll right to where Franklin's at. Man, that was some driving. Let's go. Cobra Kai, bitches. So basically, once you hook up with uh, with Franklin here, I always get a visual on him. Now, as as the uh, caption says, coming up, you don't want to drive all the way up to him. You don't want him to let him in the vehicle. He'll be like, "Hey, let's go get some coffee or whatever," but but you just don't want to let him anywhere inside the vehicle, right? Then you want to jump out. You want to uh, get away from the scout car. But here's the trick, though. You need to run far enough away where Michael doesn't want to get back in the scout car, right? Right now, I'm, like, racing him and shit. And so, just remember, when Michael's in the scout car, you don't want Franklin in. When Franklin's in, you don't want Michael in. And if you get them close together like that, sometimes Michael will, will jack Franklin through the scout car. So, it's not that difficult, really. I know I'm explaining it as it's difficult, but it's really not that difficult. So... Once you uh, take possession of the scout car as Franklin, you'll want to go to this garage right here. Okay, it's like 30k. So basically make sure you have 30k. Also, I put a lot of these captions up. One, to reiterate the point, but two, I have a subscriber that's actually uh, deaf. So it helps him out if you don't want to turn on his captions or whatnot but besides that so once you pull up this garage and make sure that you have 30k like you can some people say you can park the scout car in franklin's garage and save it and then come by the garage but it's got to be within the same mission i found when i've tried to do that method okay so basically this is how it works right when you come up to this garage right here and again this method has been around for a while in the police community and I mean a long time but it's just recently I've seen a couple of videos on it so I decided to drop one on it myself anyways when you buy the garage right here and you confirm it obviously it's gonna take you inside or whatnot right so once once it says right there garage purchased right Basically, your scout car is going to be parked out here. But see how the windows and stuff are still smashed up, right? Okay, so you want to take it from there right into the garage. Now, before you buy the garage, some people say if you park in that parking space and then go buy the garage, you can get an easier duplicate that way. Um, I haven't found that it that it helps or it you know or it does not help. 
so I would say this works for me about 50% of the time so if I've tried it 10 times it works live but basically when you park your other scout car in there when you walk out you'll see that it spawns right here and this vehicle is actually in pristine condition and the first time I did this I was like wait a second and so I opened up to make sure I still had the slick top scout in my garage right which I did it's right there so I was like hmm so I walked back out and sure enough it worked I, I duplicated the slick top you know police car and the thing is that's really cool like I said if you're into role play it's awesome having a slick top in director's mode or or, or whatever you know just uh just role playing police uh this is such a unique police vehicle that this is, is just cool to have too I think so as you can see here I definitely duplicated it they're both inside the scout you know inside the garage I got both the scout cars so obviously I went out to see if I could actually maybe duplicate three and for not so but this is this is a legit method on how to store positively one in your garage and possibly get the duplicate and again my peeps this is legit you can't like save one and then restart the mission this is legit if you restart the mission you won't have a scout car in the garage you follow me so anyway my peeps you got any questions leave them in the comments this is going to wrap this video up i hope it helped you out go ahead and snipe that like if it helped you out and you guys remember to stay safe out there and you know what to do snipe like snipe the sub because that's how we roll